You guys ready for your next comedian? Yes! Please support Coming to the stage, put your hands together for a Navy superhero who's hanging up his cape in two weeks. He's retiring. Put your hands together for my man. <laughs> Big Ralph. Let's give it up for Team Fred. So as Fred mentioned, uh, in about two weeks, I will be retiring from the United States Navy after 26 years. So folks have asked me, uh, Ralph, so what are you going to do after you retire? I said, I'm going to go hang out with Fred and other VA vets <laughs> at Hardee's. <laughs> <laughs> Between the hours of 0, 0600 and 1100, Hardy smells like biscuits and Bengay. <laughs> so retiring is um, pretty exciting, but being on the stage makes me a little nervous. In fact, um, now that I'm here, I don't know which moment I'm more nervous about. Being here or the moment I was about to lose my virginity to a more experienced girl. <laughs> yeah, I said the same thing. Uh-oh. <laughs> See, uh, I didn't know if I was going to do it right. Will she talk about me? Will she be mean to me? Life was rough for me in the sixth grade. <laughs> As I got older, I continued dating uh, more experienced and high quality women. And I come to realize there's a price tag attached. It's called a dating maintenance plan, <laughs> AKA the cookie trust fund. <laughs> you want to take care of that cookie jar. So the streets are saying, AKA men are saying, that the average woman expects a man to spend $200 per date. Now, I don't need to graduate from MIT to know that if the medium income in Hampton Roads is $30,000, you're no longer a date, you're dependent. <laughs> <laughs> Nonetheless, I can deal with the complicated part of women, you know, the things that make you scratch your head a little bit. For example, ladies, why do you like your bath water hotter than your coffee? If it's too hot to sip, it's probably too hot to dip in it, you know? <laughs> and ladies, why when we ask you what do you want for dinner, you say, it, it doesn't matter. But when we offer you something, oh, I don't want that. <laughs> and then when we finally agree on what you want to eat, you're still not satisfied because we get to the restaurant, you order, then you're eating off my plate. <laughs> And ladies, why does everything we say with our clothes off is held against us with our clothes on? <laughs> For example, I love you. I wash the dishes. <laughs> Do you want to get married? Now, all men want a woman who can be their best friend. Right, fellas? Yeah. Right? Yeah? Oh, no doubt. So I just wish the plan was as simple as maintaining my other best friend, Duke. Duke is my smart, sexy, cool terrier. <laughs> See, I can take Duke to Pet Smart. He can get anything he wants. I can take him there. He can get clothes for all seasons and all occasions. <laughs> he can go have a spa day with a little treat. He can also get some pretty cool toys. I just wish there was a place like that for women. <laughs> One stop shopping. <laughs> you know, a place where I can take her to also go get shopping for all seasons and all occasions. Christmas party's coming up pretty soon. And a place where uh, she can also have a spa day with wine. And a place where we can buy some cool toys. <laughs> and now that I think about it, there is one. Groupon. <laughs> now, ladies, with all fairness, men can be expensive, too. As a matter of fact, my ex once told me, Ralph, you're high maintenance. Uh, do say. So she said, yeah. He said, with your healthy eating and uh, body conscious, uh, you do a lot of clean eating. Cool. She so said, uh, you enjoy custom-made clothes. I'm like, cool. She so said, uh, you also want me to be Betty Crocker. I'm like, huh? He said, yes, you expect a cookie every night. <laughs> I'm like, very cool. <laughs> So ladies, not only can you be expensive, but everything that comes from you can be expensive. For example, kids. 
In fact, the more kids you have, the more creative you must be to maintain them. <laughs> Halloween just passed, and I saw some pretty creative parents. This one kid came to my door in a white pillowcase. Trick or treat. I'm like, hey, little kid, let's see. You must be a scary ghost. No, sir. Uh, Casper the Friendly Ghost? No, sir. I give up. What are you? A cloud? <laughs> hey, that's my time. I'm Big Ralph.